What's going on guys? It is a little bit rainy outside, it's a little bit overcast, but we're in a super good mood right now because we're at Cesar's Tacos, the original, the OG Oak Cliff Tacos, yeah. hanging out, filming a little bit of a, of a spotlight for them with Tacos and Tunes. They are one of our sponsors for our upcoming two year anniversary show. So we're gonna do some filming here. We're gonna get to know a little bit about Cesar's Tacos, uh, the background about that, the founding story, and we're also gonna eat a lot of their tacos. So we are out here at Cesar's Tacos. We're shooting a little bit of a video. They are our sponsor for this two year anniversary show that we're doing. JP, y'all didn't know this about JP. Y'all knew that he played music. Y'all saw him at one of our shows a few months ago at Texas Studio. Y'all did not know that he is like the nephew in this food dynasty family. <laughs> How many restaurants does he have open? I don't know, man, but several. Lots, several. We're gonna go look at a few of those and we're gonna sit down with Cesar and talk to him a little bit. Uh, and yeah, what are you doing? I'm going with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So we had an awesome time with Cesar and I meant to film a little bit more yesterday but this whole weekend has just kind of been rainy and dreary. After we shot everything with him, he took us to one of his favorite restaurants and we got to just sit down and pick this guy's brain. Cesar has been in this business for I think 25 plus years. He's learned a lot from that, the highs and the lows of it opening. I think he said at some point uh, over 31 different businesses, not all even in the restaurant space and I asked him at one point, what is the number one piece of advice you would give someone who wants to start their own business and we actually talked on that for a long while but to sum it up kind of in a nutshell what he told me and I love this is nobody is gonna own the vision the way that you are he told me story after story after story of him having to be there sometimes just to oversee certain things that were getting done at a certain point when you have six restaurants that are operating in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex you're not the one installing the new refrigerator when a refrigerator goes out but he's still the one there at two or three o'clock in the morning just making sure that it gets done right because when you walk into that room nobody is gonna see that business and that space with the eyes of the owner the way that he is and I think that that's incredible advice for anyone trying to start their own business or their own projects or their own creative goals maybe that you have at the end of the day you have a vision and nobody is gonna own that vision the way that you are nobody can see that vision fully now there may be people who are gonna partner with you along the way there may even be things that you need to delegate but I think that it's about making sure that you're inspecting what you're expecting. A lot of times when I think about what it looks like to own my own business or to grow a certain project to a certain size, sometimes it feels like I'm working hard now so that I can kind of disconnect and pass things off in the future. But I think for the people who continue grinding and growing, that day never comes. You don't ever fully hand something off. Yeah, you may delegate certain tasks, but you still have to be there to inspect what you expect. At this point, Cesar's legacy throughout Oak Cliff and Dallas, Fort Worth, it shows that he is a guy who's passionate about what he does. And more importantly, even though he doesn't have to ask anyone for time off, even though there's no one who has to approve his vacation time, he is still holding himself to a really high standard to say, hey, I can never be too far removed from what's going on here or the vision is gonna suffer and the quality is gonna suffer. And if you've had Cesar's tacos before, you know, that the quality never suffers. I'm energized by hanging out with guys like him and like JP. JP was hustling the whole time we were running around from restaurant to restaurant. Every time we sat down, JP pulled out his laptop and he was working on design projects and marketing pitch decks and all sorts of other stuff that he does aside from music and helping out with the family business. And so it's a total honor to have them as one of the official sponsors of our two year anniversary show. If you don't know about that yet, this month on August 30th, 
31st, we're celebrating the fact that Tacos and Tunes is turning two years old. That's two years of us putting on these shows in art galleries and in restaurants and in co-working spaces. That's two years of you guys showing up to these spaces to hear local musicians that you've never heard of before with a room full of strangers that were gonna be your friends by the end of the night and tasting some of Dallas's best tacos. Not their most famous tacos, not the most franchised tacos, but the best tacos that the city has to offer. So we've got a lot of really special things planned for this show. There's a link for tickets in the bio. We're gonna be back at Industrious, one of our favorite venues, and Cesar is gonna be providing some amazing tacos. Do not miss it, and keep an eye out for that video that we're putting together for Cesar, kind of highlighting that business and everything that they've done. If nothing else, it will definitely make you hungry.